40 years old especially for you who are citizens of the Isles of Trinidad and Tobago on this great day August 31st 2022 yes we are celebrating 60 years of independence I have Dr. Kenneth Niles here to carry through in some reminiscing and to bring you forward into the reality of where we are today. Understanding that we are a people who know how to go forward with our greatness of discipline, production and tolerance. And I want you to know today that it is important for us to have that reflection. Yes, as you look behind me, you will see that beautiful building that is called the Red House, yes. On August 30th, 1962, right there at midnight, oh yes, one flag came down. The Union Jack that represented British rule. But by one minute on August 31st, 1962, another flag went up, red, white, and black. That which represents now our Isles, Trent Tobago. Hooray for us, yes. But it was not just a matter of one flag coming down and another flag going up, no. It was all about the fact that we are now an independent country, free from British rule, free from any other colonial rule, any other governmental rule. We are then and until now, have established that rule as a nation with a constitution that is fresh. Our constitution was crafted right here by our own legislators. Our constitution has still been perpetuated by our government that sit right in this building behind me on a weekly and a monthly basis. A constitution that continues to prevail within our societies that keeps our cultures and norms establishing our research policies and implementation of such. The activities of, uh, that continues to govern our production and uh, of course establish the development of our peoples. Yes, constitution, it became new. And it's important for us to realize that this freedom that identifies with us in a greater measure coming out of that, within that post-colonial days, way back uh, from our freedom in the 80s and into the 1800s and into the 1900s and coming to that freedom and recognizing that yes it's not just about not being a slave anymore but being empowered as a new established citizen with validity of expression uh, for our own cultures and so it's important to, to appreciate what independence means for us. Yes, there is that one word freedom, yes it is that one word that we love liberty that comes even in our national and to forge from the love of liberty, the fires of hope and prayer uh, and so there is that forging that comes out that brings us into this context of, of newness and and uh, we need to continually realize how important it is to find the forge and to understand that forge. I like that word forge because I myself can recognize as a minister of the gospel, I have been forged really out of the love of liberty. I have come out of the fact that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but should have everlasting life. I have been forged out of that love that brought my liberty in Christ Jesus that I can understand the freeness and the, the liberty, liberation, sorry, that man ought to experience and live in this lifetime. Citizens of Trent Tobago, citizens of other Caribbean countries, citizens of the world, whoever is hearing me, I, I am sure that your country has also established uh, independence. And sometimes you wonder, are we really independent? How do we rationalize this independence? How do we bring that reality to us? And I say to you, it is important for us to understand that one of the key things about being free uh, and coming into dependence is that we have to understand that there is a new rule. I am looking here uh, at this scripture here in Galatians 4, uh, which talks about the fact that under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father, 
even so we when we were children were in bondage under the elements of the world but when the fullness of time come God sent forth his son made of a one made under the law to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons this is Galatians chapter 4 verses 2 3 and 4 now it's important to see that we have been removed under one <coughs> rule of law and it's that the work coming into another and it's important to understand that the word constitution is important for me as a believer the word bible is important it's my constitution so it is not just about me saying i am free it is not just about me saying i am liberated but i have to understand that my liberation must be encapsulated within a construct that keeps me focused and keeps me identifying with who i am so even as a Put a citizen of Trent Tobago, I must understand my constitution. I must work that out in order for me to really experience the freedom. Because I can always go back into British rule, even though I'm free. I can always be flying a red, blue, and white flag in my heart, in my mind, even though when I look around, there is a red, white, and black. So that we have to recognize how important it is on this great day of celebration to remember that it's a constitution. Whenever you come into that place of freedom, and even as I said, a believer, we have to remember there is something called constitution and there is that word called the Bible. I want to exp express a little bit more on this. I want to help us to see that why I am using this context is to help us even as believers to realize how free we are and how free we are when we know the word you know when we look at john 8 and we see from that verse 32 when and they believed even as they heard jesus they believed and they came into the truth and that truth made them free so it's important to know that freedom is not without a concept of word a concept of direction a concept of a an instruction and so we have to learn how to work it there's no arguments about re-establishing constitution changing and there's things called bylaws and there are things called uh, amendments we, we constantly try to find ways of working for but one of the things i realized that fundamentally when one establishes constitution it is quite difficult to just remove the entire thing you can't you can find amendments you may find new bylaws uh, because there are such so many changes within our economies within our technology science let's say science uh, because today technology is really creating a whole revamp of, of objectivities I, I realized recently that even the job market there is a whole new job market uh, I, and I want to do because it is not the kind of jobs that you know we would have grown up with in my today like you know, the, the usual that you'd hear doctor lawyer engineer uh, businessman dentist you know all those nice words nobody went down any lower than that but today not even those doctor lawyer engineer words are being used anymore no because there's a whole new face of social media that brings a whole dynamic of jobs that was not there at all so do we just eradicate the basis of basic within our constitution and establishes fundamentals for education and fundamentals for progress no what we have to do again is to look at them and see how they are interpreted in terms of where we go forward and that, that's it that's a construct and this is so important for us as a people that we find within ourselves freedom because you see there's another verse here in chapter 5 that says uh, stand fast in the liberty in which Christ has made you free and do not and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage it is important for us that we go forward independence 1962 we're celebrating 60 years and 60 years you know has its own you know, those two words are very very interesting 60 uh, when we think of 60 we think of retirement we think of years we think of longevity but straight to bagel no we are not retiring we are poised within this technological sphere and very very economic <laughs> experiences now uh, we are poised for growth we are poised for uh, and I'm, may i say this with all the excitement i have here 
here. We are poised for a, a great revolution uh, of, of what newness is in terms of this social media and this technological age. Because things are being done now in a more rapid, more precise context and, and, and people are being able to, to do things across nations without having to travel. So therefore we can see growth, we can see productivity and so therefore there's no retirement here. We can see our years going forward with greatness, we can see longevity, we can see this nation really rising and doing well. Do you have that mind? Do you have an understanding? Are you willing to, to, to go forward with us and say, yes, yes, we are going productively. We are going with that tolerance. We are going with that discipline in order for us to capture who we are as a people. Yes, I love the colors red, white and black. I, 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 I may prefer that to red, blue and white. But what does that say if I like the red white? But am I really identifying with my national flag that, 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 that flies freely in the wind and says, yes, there is liberty here? I, am I really established that I am wearing a new perspective in terms of who I am? No longer a slave, no longer even a, a, bond, a, a bond slave, but now I am a free slave. And how do I work that within a constitution? Do I, am I still free? Yes, you are free. Why? Because there is a new government, there is a new order, there is a new society, there is a new constitution. And, and I want you to, to really be, be, be privileged in, in terms of how you interpret this uh, daily, first as a national, and, and understand the, 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 the basic, which I, the basis, sorry, in which I'm using this to establish the fact as a, as a believer in Christ Jesus that I have the same context. You might think, um, are you going the wrong way? No, 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 no. Do, do remember I just read from, Gal from, from Gal Gal Galatians and that started off with the law. That was written there in the Torah from, Matt, uh, from Genesis, sorry, uh, right down to Deuteronomy, those five Pentateuch books that establish us in the law. And we, we have the moral law, the civil law, the religious laws. But now that we're in Christ, Jesus Christ is in Matthew that he has come to fulfill. So it's not that he wants to eradicate. No, we, we don't go to eradicate here 60 years later. No, we are here to, to bring that reality of, <clears throat> to fulfill that who we are. And I think I, I, I may say this, that we are poised to be a more fulfilled nation that we have been before. We are poised to bring that revelation of the, the ingenuity and the creativity and, and the intellect that we are as a people right here in TNT, right here in Trent Tobago. We are able now to poise to affect the Caribbean eyes and to understand that what we call the CARICOM nations. We are poised to be that pivotal example, pivotal icon that will create that kind of dynasty within our region. We are here poised to bring a reality to the world. That, that this third world country will affect the first world. We can, we can. And we have to believe in ourselves. And I, I say that, and, and I'm saying that here as a believer in Christ, that because of who I am, I can make a difference within my nation. And I could continue to establish you with a thought of yes, not just having a new constitution, but having a new life, having a new purpose, renewing myself forward, going forward, knowing that I am also new, with a new constitution, with a new concept, with a renewed reality of where I'm going. It's a reality that I have to work out here in my life that now I can use technology to bring up my Bible. To bring up the word and he shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free but it's important to know that that, that uh, Jesus said this is a read from John 8 here uh, 31 then Jesus said to those Jews which believe in him if he continue in my word you are good to my disciples if you continue in my word you are my disciples so coming out of the law in Galatians 4 coming into his word and continuing in his word and recognizing that now and I am free, Galatians 5 says, stand fast in that liberty and be not anymore entangled with that yoke of bondage. That yoke that 
oppresses you in, into transgression, into sin, into condemnation, into being judged. No, there's a freedom from that being from judgment. There's a freedom from condemnation. There's a freedom from guilt as we stand into this new liberty that we have in Christ Jesus. And the f future, therefore, gives us much opportunities that we can go forward appreciating that newness and appreciating that day by day we're going to have revelations of this newness, revelations of what he is, revelations of who he has become, revelations of what is going to happen to us. You know, you're, you're talking there and saying, am I biased? Oh no, no, no. You mean there are people who may not be in Christ? Let me say to you today, who made the planes? Who made all these great designs and builds? They may not have been in Christ. But I want you to know that when man was created, he was created in his image and likeness. God breathed into man, man became a living soul. There is that God in man that is not freed because of sin. I, I, I want you to see today that independence is not just about freedom from as it were British rule. It is not just freedom from sin as a believer. It is a freedom into a place where there is new, a new con a, a new life. If any man be in Christ, he's new. All things are passed away. Second Corinthians 5. Behold all things be and, and that new is not like I bought a new pair of shoes or a new bag or a new car or a new stuff. No, it's new in terms of his revelation. It's new in, in terms of that which comes to me to bring me further into my whole purpose. It brings me into myself. And, and it, it brings me into a place where I can understand that I can live life successfully. I can live life productively. I can live life wholesomely. I, I really want you to see this today. It's not just that we change. As I said, it's not one flag coming down and next flag going up. It's not a blue, white and red flag going down and a red, white and black coming up and say, oh, we have... No! That was real. 60 years ago, 60 years later, let's see the fulfillment of maturity as established by governments in terms of retirement, people feel they'll be mature. But it's, it, let, let, let's use that. And let me say, in that maturity, we are we, we are now poised for a greater revelation of new, a greater revelation of what is yet to come. So people in the hills, people who think that they, they're not identified where they have nothing and I don't know where we're going. Oh, let's not complain about where we are not and what we don't see. Let's begin to believe that new means that there is going to be the, um, the, uh, the opportunity and the reality of defining and redefining and finding the perspectives that brings us into that greatness. Me being in Christ. Me bringing forth that newness, bringing forth the identities of who I am and the greatness of who God is in me because he created me. You out there, there is a need for us to identify, yes, I can do, but I can do greater and greater works that I can do from John 12 because Christ is in me. So I am actually encouraging you to think about the new constitution called the Bible as we are forged out of that love that God so allowed us to have through his son that he gave himself for us. I want you to come into that forged love that brings you into a new knowing of the truth. That, that truth makes you a disciple. I want you to come out into that forged love that brings us into that freedom and that liberty that we are able to live within our societies, within this nation of Trent Tobago freely. I want you to know yes, it is well and it shall be well with our very souls. I, I want you to know that this is not just an inscription on my chest, this is the reality of being. That we are looking positively forward, not, 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 not debating or negating the fact that, hey, there are things around us, really establishing all kinds of differences. We have all kinds of trials and, you know, we have all kinds of temptations and there are all kinds of it's negative issues that want us to cringe. But no, don't cringe. These things that makes us better. Christ's death makes us live. 
our continual experiences makes us go better so let's forge forward let's forge forward into that liberty recognizing that the word new is not just a one-time experience but it's an everyday experience morning by morning we are going to be experiencing new new productivities new engineering new ideas new technologies new ways because why we stand fast in the liberty in which christ has set us free happy independence yes but happy next 60 years happy next 120 years i may not be around for that who knows you might be neither but your grandchildren and great grands the, the generations continue to perpetuate as god continues to be established as he is the word the truth the life he is new and i want us today to really appreciate the way forward and to know that God is in control of our tomorrows. Citizens of Trinidad Tobago, fear not. Citizens of the world, fear not. I know you're wondering about the rumors and wars and all kinds of things going on, but I tell you, our God reigns and rules, and it is well with us. God bless you as we continue to establish the power of God the power's word continues to establish the constitution, the word, the Bible, in our hearts that makes us new. Forge from the love of liberty in the fires of hope and prayer with boundless faith in our destiny. And may God